How's it going everyone? Today we'll be going over my ranking of the new drift tuning vehicles that were included in the Chop Shop DLC to GTA Online. Now some of these are going to be older vehicles and some of these are the newer vehicles. But they are all able to get the drift tuning upgrade. As of the release of this video there is a grand total of 8 vehicles that are eligible for this upgrade. These vehicles include the Fathom FR36, the D Classy Drift Yosemite, D Classy Drift Tampa, Anis Remus, Karen Futo GTX, and the Euros, Dinka Jester RR, and the Anus ZR350. I expect that most of you already own these vehicles, but if you don't, I recommend picking them up. Now to actually put on these drift tuning upgrades, simply head over to the Los Santos car meet with any of these vehicles and you will see that you can upgrade to the drift variant. Now keep in mind that any and all modifications that boost the performance of the vehicle, like brakes, engine mods, turbo, will all be removed once you purchase the upgrade. The upgrade actually costs an initial $200,000 to install and if you want to remove it, the upgrade is $50,000. Now without further ado, let's get into it, this is number 8 on our list. Unfortunately, coming in at the number 8 spot, we have the D Classy Drift Yosemite. Now, the Yosemite is an older DLC vehicle coming from the Diamond Casino Heist update. It's available on the Southern San Andreas for a base price of 1.3 million or 981,000 if you use the Yosemite as a vehicle in the Diamond Casino. Now, this vehicle has a ton of awesome customization options and it has a decent performance for what the vehicle actually is. But the reason this vehicle is number 8 is actually because of how bad the drifting in this vehicle actually is. Now you'd expect a vehicle that in the base variant is already a drift vehicle, but I think that's actually what makes this vehicle as bad as it is. Now the vehicle doesn't have good top speed naturally and the drift tuning doesn't actually seem to help with this speed, making it a very slow and just chunky piece of just the drift you might it's very heavy when you're trying to use it and almost like if you were drifting like a bus around or something like that the handling and especially the turning on this vehicle is lacking very much and it runs out of power very quickly especially when you're trying to drift for more than a couple of seconds as you see i do while i'm in the parking lot over here of the mega mall now as I just stated, I think the main reason why this vehicle lacks so much is because it's originally a drifting vehicle and it kind of merges with the drift tuning upgrade which kind of just makes it, I don't know, it just makes it feel, it's weird, it's hard to control, it's just very heavy like you can just feel it like straining and it not really doing what you want it to do. This is why the drift Yosemite is in the number 8 spot. In our number 7 spot, we have the D Classy Drift Tampa. Now, this vehicle is purchasable for $995,000 over on Southern San Andreas and was released during the 2016 Cunning Sense event. Now, this vehicle has very lacking customization, with only the livery and color being basically the only customizable option about this vehicle. But despite that, it's a major step up from its counterpart, the Yosemite. The Tampa is a very unique case when it comes to this list, as it's still a decent drifting vehicle, but it's very outdone by many of the other vehicles on the list. The handling of the Tampa is not the greatest, and you can feel yourself being sort of limited whilst driving this thing around the city of Los Santos or in the races. Now one plus about this vehicle is that it has a very nice speed naturally, and you can kind of drive around and treat this as a normal vehicle when you drive this vehicle around it's kind of runs like it's a regular vehicle you don't really see that much of a difference in terms of drifting and all of that and the drift tuning doesn't really seem to take away from that speed and handling now overall this vehicle is a major miss in my opinion as it could have been so much more but it's limited in so many ways Coming in the number 6 spot, we have the Dink Adjuster RR. Now, this vehicle is purchasable for $1.97 million or for $1.47 million with the trade price via the Legendary Motorsport website. The Joker RR is a beautiful vehicle with some fairly average customization. Now, the vehicle has been on the top of my list in terms of looks, and it's a vehicle that I personally would enjoy having in real life and all of that type of stuff. Now, the Adjuster RR speed and handling is actually pretty good you can fly down the streets in this thing and even with the drift tuning upgrade it's an incredible free roam vehicle to drive around in but what makes this vehicle in the number six spot and the higher up is due to the lack of actual drifting capabilities this vehicle has 
Whilst this is in no means a bad drifting vehicle or a bad vehicle in general, it kind of is just average when it comes to the other vehicles that you'll find later on. And I originally didn't really expect much to come from this until I added the upgrade and it came out to be fairly mid when it comes to actually drifting around, whether that be in a race, a track, or simply just around the map. This vehicle feels very heavy and rougher to get, uh, to actually move how you need it to move, and that's why it's... Uh, below the rest of the other vehicles think of this kind of as the uh, yosemite where it's just heavy and it's just not easy to move around that's why this is in our number six spot in our number five spot we have the fudo gtx this vehicle is purchasable for 1.59 million or 1.19 million with the trade price over on southern san andreas now when making my list i was considering placing the jester rr as the number five spot and the fudo as the number six but i actually decided to put the fudo in the number five the customization of this vehicle is amazing it can be edited basically however you really like but the major drawback of the fudo is how slow this vehicle is it can feel very uh bad at times and hard to move and it's kind of lacking in that department but that being said the fudo can feel almost like a sled when you're driving it which makes drifting around with this vehicle very fun while it's not very practical for races practical practical for races the fudo makes for a very fun drive and that's why it is a number five on the list Coming into the number 4 spot, we have the Anus Remus. This vehicle will run you 1.37 million or 1 million for the trade price over on Legendary Motorsport. This vehicle has always been an incredible drafting vehicle and this update just simply improved on that fact. Now the Remus is a very fast and easy handling vehicle with lots of customization options for you to put onto the vehicle. Now due to its small stature, the vehicle can drift around with little to no problem at all basically and it's a great combination of speed and handling. This vehicle is a well deserved number 4 spot in my opinion. And keep in mind throughout driving this it can spin out or even lose traction at times if you actually don't take into consideration the agility of this vehicle which I unfortunately did a couple of times. And also keep in mind throughout the rest of the rankings that the number 3, 2, and 1 spot are all amazing in their own ways and could either of them replace each other and you wouldn't even really uh, bat an eye basically. Kicking off the top 3 we have the Anus Euros, purchasable for 1.8 million or 1.35 over on Legendary Motorsport. I was having so much fun driving this vehicle around and even customizing this vehicle. This vehicle has amazing handling and can drift around the map with ease, put together its great top speed and its great drifting capabilities, you get an amazing combination vehicle that can really do it all. This vehicle seems to hardly spin out and it drives incredibly smoothly down the road, the track, or wherever you're using this vehicle. In the number 2 spot we have the Fathom FR36, a coupe available on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos for 1.6 million. The majority of players agree that this and the number one pick are the top dogs of the drift division. This vehicle just released with the new Chop Shop DLC and feels so amazing to drift around in. While I say that the vehicle is the best for drifting, I do believe that the number one pick is the best simply due to some points I will bring up. Customization on this vehicle is very fun and drifting around is so smooth. Altogether, this vehicle is an incredible vehicle and I really hope that you guys can go ahead and pick one up. With that being said, let's move on to my number one pick. Coming into the number one spot, we have the Anus ZR350, coming in at 1.61 million or 1.21 million over on Legendary Motorsport. For a sports car, this vehicle has some great speed and its handling is super good. I have no clue why, but this vehicle just feels super smooth to drive around in, which you really wouldn't expect for a supercar similar vehicle like the CR350. I've had nothing but incredible experiences driving this vehicle, and I hope that you all can too. It's got some great customization options to go along with it. No matter what kind of drift you're attempting, the ZR350 blows any other vehicle except for the Fathom out of the water. These two are very similar, but in my opinion, the ZR350 just has the slight upper hand, but now I'm interested. Let me know down below what vehicle you think is the best for drifting in GT Online, and how do you feel about this new drift upgrade for vehicles? And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. It's free and does nothing but help me and the channel out tremendously. Peace out, y'all. Have a good day.